So I've been to Japan a couple of times already, it will be my sixth time in a couple of days. And I realized I never really did a video about my first impressions about Japan. So let's do that today. So on my first day in Japan I got lost immediately. I came out of the airport behind security and everything. I came into the big hall at Osaka airport and I was like, okay, where now? I had um, bought my Aikoka pass online. And I had to go to an office at the airport. I had no idea how to get off the airport, like out of the main building. I had jet lag, I was tired, that I forgot Kansai Airport is on an island. I couldn't get into the Wi-Fi, so I had no idea where to go, which train to take, how I could get my pass, and how I could find my way to the hostel. I had some of an idea, it was close to a river and I knew the name of the hostel <laughs> and I knew it was in Kyoto, so yeah very very troublesome, I still remember the first day very very clearly but even with all the confusion of having no way of knowing where to go and everything I thought from, okay, let's ask I asked two security guards they didn't speak any English at all. <laughs> like, you will think working at an airport, even as security guard, you have to know at least basic English. Not true for Japan, I think. <laughs> but they were like very helpful. Like, the moment that I showed my papers of Aikoka, they were like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I was like, from, oh, okay. <laughs> they walked me uh, from the arrival place all the way outside to the other side of the of the island to the office where I could get my pass. To the office where I could get so that was my f one of the first impressions that I had. People are very very friendly. Then it was time to get my to get my train. Another big obstacle because I didn't know how the trains work in Japan and I also didn't know those gates were for the trains. So when I was getting my pass I was already asking people how I could get to the train. Then some other foreigners say from yeah you just have to Press your card against pads on the gates you can go through. So I did that, but then I was at the station and every time when I looked at the boards, they were in Japanese. I didn't know they switched to English. So I was like thinking from, mm, how, why, which train do I have to take? Then I asked someone who worked there again, and again, very friendly, helped me on the train. When you're on trains, talking is something you don't really do in Japan. When you sit on a train, in Japan, it's like very quiet mostly. And then the confusion hit me once again, because when I got out of the train, everybody ran into like a kind of shop thing, because that was apparently the exit. I'm not sure if that was the only exit, but that was the exit everyone took. So I felt like I was at Disneyland, going off an attraction and ending up in a shop that I have to go through to get to the open world again. <laughs> And from that point on, it became quite difficult because I mostly only saw tourists. So I was hesitant, hesitant to ask my direction. I was just thinking from, okay, where is North? Because I knew kind of the place where the river was and where my hostel was. And I kind of did a good job of figuring, out it, and figuring it out on my own because I arrived safely at my hostel a little bit early, but then I wandered through Kaya district and I noticed everything, like all the streets that I went to were so clean, like you couldn't see any trash laying around anywhere. Compared to Belgium, Belgium is like, whenever you walk on the streets you will always see something. Like maybe not that much, but in some places quite a lot of trash. And in Japan, like even by the riverside, totally clean. So yeah, my first impressions are very friendly people. Like every time when I ask for help, they help me like more than they should. Like even at the airport, if they just would have said kind of the direction that I had to go in, I would have been happy, but they walked me to the door of the office. Uh, second, very quiet trains. But surprisingly, all the trains run on time, which is very strange for me because I come from Belgium. If a train is on time, it's considered like a miracle. And very clean like that was like my main impression and also like the buildings like 
When I was on the train and seeing all the buildings pass by, they all look so different, but they were all so small. There's always, like, they're never really attached to one another. And they're like sometimes in very strange shapes, like I have seen triangles. And that brings me to the conclusion. It's very safe, they're very friendly, very clean, and just like that environment. Like I was standing in Kyoto and I was like seeing mountains surrounding the whole city. And I'm a big fan of mountains and nature, so that was a big plus. <laughs> because prior to going to Japan, I wanted to keep it as much as a surprise and I didn't look up too many things about Japan. That was like my first impression of Japan. Everything looked so different, the buildings, nature, the mountains, the public transportation, the people, everything was like, I had a very great time. And that was my first impression of Japan. Um, I hope you had a as positive adventure or first impression like me on your first thing in Japan. But yeah, that was it for me. I, I didn't really have any negative things to say about Japan on my first day and that's something that I had for the first time because on in all other countries that I went to I always had like some negative things to say on my first day. <laughs> so yeah, thank you all for watching and have fun traveling in Japan. Have a first good impression.